last week we talked about the fall off in the media following the election. Some networks have lost a lot of their audience. The right has had some trouble, not really Fox News. They've, they've really been doing okay, but Newsmax, their website went from 12 million unique viewers in January to 7 million unique viewers in February, down to 5 million unique viewers in March. They had looked like they were ready to overtake Fox, and then they kind of lost that. Now, that obviously isn't good for the CEOs there. It's not good for their hosts. They want to be on top. So they're working with a couple of different ideas of what they need to cover, what they need to focus on. Here is one of the most recent efforts. All right, folks, I want you to take a look at this. Joe Biden today getting on Marine One, and he stops and picks up, I think it's a dandelion, but it's a dandelion that hasn't even blossomed into a flower yet. Like it gives everybody asthma. So you blow it, it goes everywhere, and then everybody starts sneezing. Well, he picks up the weed and gives it to Jill as what I guess is supposed to be some kind of a sweet gesture. He's getting dandelions all over the place. I say it was a planted dandelion there, who knows? Yeah, well, most plants were, but that's the saddest thing. Like, why is he He's giving her a flower, this woman he loves, it's just a weed. Like he gave her a box of chocolates, it just makes you, it's all sugar, it's gonna make you fat. It like, it makes your like teeth a little bit like dark until you lick it off. And like, (laughs) he probably, he probably even make that chocolate anyway. Love isn't real. Dude, are you, are you in love with Jill, bro? Like, (laughs) you got a thing for Jill here? Cause you're like, like not even a good flower. Come on, like, oh, romance is back in the White House. I, I love this clip. We talked about it on the Bituation Room last night. I, it, mm-hmm. It's wrong on all the levels, but I love how they're just fundamentally trying to make a very sweet moment. Just a sweet old man. Like, I haven't been this moved by an old man since the movie Up. You know, this is just like, <laughs> oh, God. No, I, <laughs> that was like such an up uh, thing to do. It is an up thing to do. I don't look, I don't even. Like I think the media reaction initially just to the clip, like was like uh, the romance back in the like I don't I don't care like I don't have a problem with it. I'm a normal person in a normal healthy relationship, so seeing two people who like each other doesn't fill me with rage. <laughs> but I don't want this like, oh the White House is this romantic Camelot. I'm not interested in that either. But however much I don't like that, this guy losing his s. Over a flower being handed off, I don't be that person. Don't be that like new report. He named a star after Jill. You that that star is probably dead by now. It probably went supernova. You idiot! Like don't be <laughs> that person, man. No, but and I don't. Hmm. No, no. He no, he what? also says it's a planted dandelion, which basically means like he yeah. thinks it was fake. There's a conspiracy yep. here we have to get to the bottom of. It's on the level, of course, of the like, you know, who is it? Uh, Major is like a scroungy dog or whatever. Um, <laughs> which they that, talked about. Yes, which they talked about. But I think my favorite part, and this is very interesting, which I did talk about on my podcast, but I want to talk about here, which is that he gets the life cycle of the dandelion totally wrong. He has no <laughs> idea mm-hmm. what he's talking about. Dandelions start start yellow. Then they go back in, they dry up, and then they come out as this like white, you know, like the little wispies. And then they blow around and like, you know, and plant other seeds. It's very beautiful. And like I was saying, I do think that Joe Biden is sort of the wispy white dandelion of presidents. He's like (laughs) on his way out, (laughs) trying to do no, no, but he look, he's in the he's in the other side of the life cycle, but still doing beautiful things. And like the dandelion, he was planted there by George Soros. Yes, exactly, exactly. It's a cloned <laughs> dandelion. I can't it just be lame and fake love? By the way, I haven't actually said who that is. So that is, I had to look this up. This is Newsmax Hope host Grant Stinchfield, which is totally not a made up name. <laughs> anyway, um, they're all made up. Anyway, um, why can't it just be lame and love doesn't exist? He has to throw in at the end that it was planted. Like, it's like he has this knee jerk reaction. Wait, wait, 
I put across a theory that can't be credibly described as conspiratorial. Gotta throw something in there. Like you already were crazy. Why does it also have to be that a Secret Service member put a flower in the field? Weeds exist, dude, look it up. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> by the way, I just wanna, I don't wanna be too hard on Newsmax. That would be unfair. Okay. I wanna be very clear, as sad as that was, as insane as that was, as much as that does make me like sort of break my heart for Grant Stinchfield's relationship history. He's not the only one because I looked a little bit more and Laura Ingram did have this on. Happy, lovesick, romantic ever, Laura, or the most insecure spouse in DC. Whatever the case, she no, can see cute. you, pal. You don't need to do a whole mime act of devotion <laughs> and love and all of that. It was I cute. also feel when, when you have to work that hard after many years of marriage, Laura, <laughs> something's wrong, okay? We need to call Dr. Phil. Can you invite Dr. Phil in to come help explain this to me? Yes. I, mean, look, I, I don't mind the affection, but the gratuitous stuff. We just don't care and we don't need to see it. Well, get a room, as I would say. I, yeah, I, what is, what, I, like, I, in the past, I've said to these people, y'all need Jesus. Y'all need a hug bad from a person who loves you and accepts who you are. He was so crazy there that Laura Ingram kind of defended Joe Biden. She seemed to like it. I think she said it was cute or something she said like it was that, cute. right? She said she it was, was cute. She was too crazy for Laura Ingram. But she was like, I understand why we have to have you on and why we're doing this segment. It's because we don't know how we're actually attacking Biden's plans, <laughs> many of which are incredibly <laughs> popular with our voters and the people who watch the show. Anyway, let's keep talking about a dandelion. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I got a room. Like uh, that dude, yes, that dude is uh, so sad. You're a grown ass man, like on a ne major network. Talking about how you don't got to put in work in a relationship, like after a certain amount, <laughs> you know, it's like a car it just goes and you just let it careen off the cliff and watch yeah. it burn and then eat popcorn and have the flames just flickering in your eyeballs. Yeah. <laughs> I learned a lot from it. Um, so, I mean, my wife and I, we've only been married for like a year and a half or whatever. And um, over the weekend, I, in the morning, because I woke up first, I made coffee for, for her. And then I realized, no, why am I trying so hard? And I yeah. spilled it on the ground. That'll teach her. Love is supposed to be lazy. Damn it. <laughs> anyway. Check out the Damage Report podcast each day, wherever you get your podcasts, whether Pocket Casts or Stitcher or iTunes. You can join me as I give you the news and stories you want, with a range of co hosts and interview guests jumping in on the fun each day. Again, that's the Damage Report, wherever you get your podcasts. And if you get them at iTunes, don't forget to rate and review. Sometimes I'll read them live on the show.